Well, hey friends, today I'm going to share with you our packing lists for camp. We are going away for two weeks and we are going on an island. My in-laws have a RV on this island. Um, there's a little camp there and it's a church camp. They have gone, gosh, I don't even know, 20 some years plus. Uh, my husband has gone since he was a kid and I started going with them after we got married. We will be married nine years this fall, so quite a long time. Um, and now my kiddos go as well. Uh, both of them started going to camp with us when they were six and seven months old. So we are kind of old pros at what we need to bring with us to camp. However, this year is going to be a little bit different. The first week, um, the kids and I will be staying in a cabin, and the second week we will be staying with my mother-in-law in her RV. So I need to prepare differently for both of the weeks. I'm going to share with you my list. This is my camp folder. I use this um, the past couple years, and I keep the prior year's lists within here. And I go through as I make a new list because things change. My kids have gotten older. Some of the things that we needed to bring, we don't have to anymore. Um... And so I just keep everything in here and I go through the old year's list and I make a new one and then I discard the old list. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you everything inside. Okay, so here on the left I actually have um, just some blank paper and a list of things that I need to get before we leave. I just used a little bit of washi tape with some owls there and I've listed out everything that I need to get. Now I need to be, for this particular trip, my husband will not be coming with us, so I need to be mindful that my husband will need a lot of these things here at home, such as you know shampoo and um, dish soap and things like that. So he will need that stuff here at home, so I need to bring a double to camp. Just some mental notes for myself as far as things to bring. Now here is my extensive list. It's several pages and I have things broken down um, <clears throat> according to different categories. So I'm not going to go through the entire list. If you want to use this as an example, feel free to pause the video and use my list as sort of a jumping off point for your own family. And um, because this is a church camp and we are not just exclusive to ourselves, I will uh, be bringing makeup. So if you see things like makeup and things for my hair and stuff like that on my list and um, that doesn't suit your camping style, that's great. Just know that I'm going to be seeing a lot of people. I'm going to be going to church services and different things and I don't want to frighten anyone. <laughs> um, so anyways, this is my toiletries list. And on the back side... I have toiletries for both of my kids. Um, I have an A and C next to the things that um, I need to bring that are doubles. For instance, my daughter is five and my son is two and they use different types of toothpaste. And of course they use different toothbrushes. So I just have an initial next to it so I can cross off their initial when I have packed those items. Next I have a first aid kit. So we will need to bring all of this stuff in with us. You know. God forbid something crazy happens, but you just want to be prepared for any type of situation. So the, this sort of stuff will um, take care of a lot of uh, injuries that we could possibly come across. Um, there is a first aid station at the camp and of course a hospital on the island as well. So next, we have all of the toys that we're going to be bringing for the kids. Like I said, my kids are two and five and <laughs> You have to be prepared to have some entertainment for them um, because they are quite young. Um, these first few things are their comfort items. So they both have these seahorses that um, play music and their bellies light up. And I need to remember those because they sleep with them every night. And um, I want to make sure that they have their comfort items. They'll be sleeping in a new space. And um, that's really important. So we just have things like coloring books and crayons. Um, we're going to do a scavenger hunt. I'm going to make homemade Play-Doh and some slime and stuff, um, some fun things for them to play with. We have lots of things for playing at the beach and just playing outside in general. Um, bubbles, glow sticks, art supplies and paper, and just some of their favorite toys. We're also going to be bringing a couple of board games. My daughter really likes to play games. Um, and a 
container to hold all of these items as well. So the dollar store is really great for having, you know, just really inexpensive larger type buckets or bins that you could put all of these things in. Because you have to remember that you just don't want this like scattered everywhere. Having a toy tub um, will really help cut down on clutter. So then for myself, I have a lot of gear listed as well. So our camper we go um, doesn't have internet access. We're basically off-grid for a while um, for the two weeks. It was just recent, as in like last year or so, that you could even use a cell phone without standing in a particular spot um, located like ways away from the camp. You had to drive to it, stand there, and not move and hope that you caught good cell service. So it is a time to kind of go completely unplugged. There is a snack shack at our ca um, at our camp and you can pay to use the Wi-Fi for about an hour or two during the afternoon. So sometimes I do uh, do that. I run my own business, so it's important for me to kind of just check in a little bit with that. So, okay, so next we have the clothing for the kids. Now, if I was making a packing list for going on like a weekend away or just a few days away, I would be more specific about about the outfits that um, I would be taking for the kids as well as the shoes and stuff I'd want to make sure that I had that sort of planned out however because we're going to be gone for such a length of time I will just be packing a lot of their clothes uh, they don't have a ton of clothes as it is so we will probably just go through and pack a good chunk of their clothes I did want to make sure that I wrote down the different um, categories of clothing that I wanted to make sure that they had um, and then I have my clothes, so I want to make sure to bring sunglasses and hats, um, clothes for church, uh, a purse or a tote bag, and my wallet, different things like that. So like I mentioned, for the first week at camp, I am going to be in a cottage, and the cottage or cabin... Um, they have told me is fully stocked. However, I don't know what all is in the cabin as far as um, silverware and knives and things like that. And I'll admit that um, I would just feel more comfortable bringing uh, some of my own things in. So, um, of course, want to bring cutting board and knives, fry pan, um, Tupperware bowls, coffee pot, utensils, um, or spices. So I saw this idea on Pinterest to put your various spices into a pill box that you can kind of get at the dollar store. So we're going to be doing that. Um, pot holders, colander, mixing bowls. Um, I'm going to bring my magic bullet because I use that all of the time. Um, and I'm going to bring my crock pot as well. That is going to be kind of a lifesaver for me in making dinners without having to stand over a stove. I also am going to bring in some storage containers. We've had instances before where ants have just kind of come and gotten into fruit and anything that wasn't sealed. So with a lot of our food items, I'm going to make sure that they are sealed against ants and any insects that might uh, want to get in and eat those things. So next I have a list for cleaning. Um, I'm going to bring some Lysol wipes and my Scentsy Clean, which is uh, just a all-purpose cleaner that smells wonderful. Um, laundry soap. So typically we do laundry once a week. Um, it isn't always that that happens, but sometimes it does, so I do want to be prepared. I have some Tide Pods that I'm going to use for this. I actually got them free with some Dawn dish. Uh, detergent so the pods are really nice so you don't have to mess with liquid so I've saved those Tide Pods as the free sample and I'm going to be taking those with me I like to bring some wrinkle release my mother-in-law keeps some iron at the camp um, I hate ironing as it is but sometimes clothes just get uh, a little stuffy and stinky from hanging in um, camp closets and uh, sometimes they just get wrinkled so the wrinkle release really freshens things up and it really does work I've used wrinkle release for a very long time um, we want to make sure we bring hand soap um, I like to bring some Scentsy room spray I am a director with Scentsy so I will of course be bringing some warmers and wax because I love every place I go to smell great um, some cleaning rags, dishcloths, dish towels, scrubbies um, and trash bags. And then for our sleeping arrangements, 
My son, who's two, will still be sleeping in a pack and play. Um, he's still in a crib right now. We haven't had any need to switch him over to a toddler bed. He's doing great and fine in a crib. So we will just bring the pack and play for him. Again, I wrote down the seahorse comfort item to make sure that I do not forget those things. Um, pillows, uh, so M-A-C, that's my initials, my daughter, and my son. Um, blankets and sheets. Um, just to, you know, obviously cover the beds. So we have all that stuff for sleeping arrangements. And then lastly, this is just all of the gear that we're going to need. So flashlight, lanterns, extra batteries, camp chairs, um, clothespin and rope to um, line dry clothes. Um, the sunshade for the truck. Um, I also wrote down a wreath, twinkle lights, and pinwheels. So it is kind of fun just to jazz up your camp space. Um, again, you're there for two weeks. It's a long time, so why not make it a little fun? Laundry bag, scissors, duct tape, s'more sticks, citronella, candle, umbrella, stroller, wagon, um, toys, life vest, beach blanket, um, just all kinds of stuff here. Fans for sure. Um, my mother-in-law's RV is uh, the air conditioner broke um, a couple years ago, so we definitely bring fans. And my kids use fans and myself as white noise, so definitely fans. And alarm clock and insect trap. So that is it for our gear. So those are uh, my packing lists. If you see something on my list that I may have forgotten, please let me know. I would love... Um, I would love your feedback on that. So lastly, we have our grocery list. So again, with our food preparations, I made sure to go through and I made a meal plan list for at least the first week that we are there. So um, because the second week will be with my mother-in-law, I will still have a lot of food, but um, I will just kind of yield to what she wants to do as far as dinner is concerned. Um, again, we'll have a lot of this food that will carry over into the next week, but um, I wasn't so strict about uh, making sure to make a meal plan for that. Okay, so what I did when I was thinking about the meals that we wanted to prepare for camp is I just did a brain dump, and I just kind of wrote down everything that sounded good, that would be easy to prepare, and I know myself that after a long day of just um, being outdoors and being in the sun, I was not going to want to slave over a still. You want quick and easy foods, and um, so that is where this list sort of came from. We also like to um, have some treats and things like that at camp. It's always just kind of like a fun time to just um, eat fun stuff. So not all of the items on this list actually made it to my final meal plan, but it was just a brain dump to kind of get everything out of my head and onto paper. So from that list, I went ahead and I wrote out all of the ideas that we are going to do for breakfast. Now, we are not married to these lists. Um, this is just kind of an idea for me. When I'm at camp, I can pull out this sheet, and if I'm feeling uninspired or just don't know what to make, I can consult this list, and I will have um, several different breakfast ideas. So I am doing a plan called Trim Healthy Mama. So some of these recipes are specific to Trim Healthy Mama, um, but smoothies and pancakes, scrambled eggs, uh, fried eggs, toast and fruit yogurt, cereal, muffins, things like that, those are very simple breakfasts that we can make at camp. Next, I went with some snack ideas. So this isn't exactly a healthy list, but it is a fun list because, you know what, we're on vacation, and sometimes you just need to give yourself a little break from eating super duper healthy all the time. So then I went through all of the things that I decided to make for our meals, and I went through and I wrote down everything that I was going to need to make those meals. Some of these things I'm going to make ahead of time, and some will be easy enough just to prepare at camp. They won't take much time at all, but as much as I can prepare ahead, I'm going to do. So one night we're going to have taco salad, so I'm going to actually make that hamburger here at home, and I'll freeze it, and then once it's time for camp, once we're at camp, I will just unthaw it and heat it before serving. Same with like the barbecue chicken. This will just go in the crock pot, and I'll just dump the chicken and the um, 
barbecue sauce right in the crock pot and it will cook all day. Um, the cauliflower mash, this is something I really love and again I'll just be using frozen cauliflower um, pasta salad and stuff I can make at camp. And then I went ahead and I wrote down all the things that I will make ahead and freeze. So things like um, the banana cake, uh, chocolate pancakes, that's a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. I have a recipe for this uh, here on my channel that I can link. And um, Trim Healthy Mama brownies and just a lot of these things um, can be prepared ahead of time. So lastly, I went through all of my food lists and I wrote out a master grocery list. So kind of carry us through for the two weeks. It's um, all the different fruits and foods and things that um, we will need for our camping. And here is the back side. I think it's just really important to remember uh, when you go camping that you don't want to be making anything gourmet that you will probably when it comes dinner time just want something fast and easy but delicious and anything that you can prepare ahead of time will probably take loads of stress off of you so as much as I can prepare ahead of time that is what I'm going to do I will freeze it and then unthaw and reheat once we are at camp and we um, use it on that appropriate day so these are my camping lists. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and happy travels.